Barbara Streisand was a big hero of yours. Oh my God. So what was, was it like when she called you? I practically fainted. I want to say, I almost had to take a pill and say, can I please calm down? Because I can't believe this is <laughs> happening to me. Thank you for inviting me for pizza. Oh, thank you. Pizza. Pizza, so good. Don't you love pizza? You have dressed a lot of different people, politicians, movie stars. Hillary Clinton has worn you to the first date dinner. Okay. You made the wedding dress for Barbara Streisand when she got married to James Brolin. I mean, do those become tentpole moments for you or is it just another dress and another oh, client? No. Each one of them have the story behind them and each one of them is more electrifying than the other. Barbara's wedding dress was a story because there was her dress and my dress. I did two wedding dresses for her. Oh my goodness. Because I was a little bit nervous. What if she wouldn't like this dress? Barbara and I design together, that's what I usually say. Mm -hmm. You know, she has a very definite point of view of what she likes and what she doesn't like. So she designed a dress that I designed a dress, and she finally chose my dress. Congratulations on your new book, My Journey. You've gotten a lot of big praise for this book. I mean, we're talking Bill People Clinton, love Anna, Calvin, but Deepak Chopra? I've known Deepak for so many years, and he gave me my first mantra. Which is what? I'm not gonna tell you. Oh. You, can't, you don't tell your mantras. Oh, I didn't, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> you grew up on 7th Avenue in the garment district. I mean, your dad was a tailor and your mom was a showroom model. In the book, you really detail your childhood as almost being lonely yeah. in a way. You felt like you were an insecure, awkward Jewish girl from Long Island. And I always feel like every one of us in fashion is on a constant quest for acceptance. I mean, you Yeah, like why do we take fashion? You know, look well, at I mean, us, everyone. look at me, look yeah. at it, right? Nobody realizes how hard it is to be in fashion. Yes. People think, oh my God, this is the most glamorous I agree. position possible. It is day and night, night and day. I swore I would never, ever be on 7th Avenue. You did not, really? I did too. Wait, from the very beginning you said, I'm not going to be a mm -hmm. garment I'm not gonna girl. be, right, I'm not gonna be a garmento. No, 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 no. But when you grow up on it, it becomes a part of you. I wanted to sing like Barbara, which I can't. I wanted to dance like Martha Graham, which I couldn't. So I found myself, well, I guess I was designing their clothes instead. Now in 2001, you sold your company. You said you were never going to do that, and then this past summer you stepped down as yes. a designer. Was that a difficult thing for you or was that? That was probably, I would say, the most difficult thing I've ever done. Really? Yeah. I didn't know really how I was ever gonna stop because I didn't want to. And I got to the point where I said, it's time for me to pass the baton. Do you miss it? Yes. I loved it. Yeah. It was a real amazing experience being able to dress and address so many people. Now, you always said you like to dress someone from the outside, but also from the inside. How do you dress someone from the inside? Well, I think that's what Urban Zen is all about. Being conscious of your mind, your body, and your spirit, that it's not just where, what you're wearing on the outside, but how you're feeling on the inside. Being kind, being generous, being careful. Find that within yourself that you feel that you can help make a difference in this world. And not pointing the finger, it's their fault. Because every time you point your finger at it, it's their fault, basically you're pointing three fingers at yourself. What advice can people have out there right now, for, especially for young designers that are starting? It's a very different time, it is not. It certainly is. I say two things. Thank you for asking me that yeah. question. The first thing I said to a designer is work in a retail store because I think you have to understand what the customer really wants and get a feeling for silhouette, shape, because there we are sitting with a model who's the absolute perfect figure and it's not about that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's about the customer. So I think working in a retail store is really, really important. However, recently, since I've done my work in Haiti, I really feel traveling the world. Is there one piece of style advice that I can say, Donna Karen says this? Absolutely. I think it's very important for a woman to have a store that she believes in, to go into, to have the confidence of a salesperson, to experiment, mm -hmm. to really go through the journey and find out, you know, is that right for me, is that not? Most of the dressing rooms that I've ever gone into, generally speaking, the woman has picked up all the wrong clothes. And I would reverse it completely for her. She'd go, 
I never wore that. I said, I know, but that's what you need to wear. And then they see it in a totally For the first time. Way. And then it's a, oh, God, do I feel good. So the key is to shop with you. Well, you're right. <laughs> if it's style, it's on the Yahoo app.